Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at 32-bit 3D printing, specifically with the Lurge X controller board, which you will see in front of you. I just got this in from Banggood and I am super excited. Uh, 3D printing is awesome. I love it. And in my many years of 3D printing, I've really upgraded just about every aspect of the 3D printers that I've gotten in, from their hot ends to their extruders to LEDs to the bed and beyond. I have really experimented with just about every part of a 3D printer. However, the one thing that I really have not had much experience with, and that is the main controller board. Most of what I've used in my builds have been just the cheap Ramps Arduino uh, and, and or some other board that's based off that Arduino architecture, which has been great, but I am really excited to broaden my horizon and look beyond that. Uh, I've looked at a lot of different 32-bit boards from the awesome Duet Wi-Fi, the Smoothie board, to the Panucat Aztec X5 and beyond, but I've not had hands-on experience with any of them. I discovered another board when I was looking at a few 3D printing websites that I hadn't heard of before called the Lurge X and I was intrigued. The main thing that caught my eye was naturally the price tag at $82. You get the main board, a touchscreen LCD, four TMC2100 drivers which are extremely quiet micro-stepping. Uh, I also got the expansion for a heated bed which will run you another $10. It comes with two awesome MOSFET boards uh, and for the price it was much lower than anything I've ever seen on the market. There's not really a ton of info on the board, so I wanted to dive right in and go about installing this into my AlphaWise U20 3D printer because I want to add an E3D hot end and a few other things to it, and this board has a completely locked down firmware that I cannot edit at all without having to completely board swap it. So for those of you that don't know why you'd want to get a 32-bit board, there's really a couple of big reasons right now. Uh, with your standard 8-bit board that comes with many 3D printers, it's just enough horsepower to allow your printer to read the g-code being fed and execute the print. It works and it works well for the most part but it really caps out your controller's processing power. With a 32-bit board you have much more power and the print is able to see much further ahead into your g-code and due to this you're able to make uh, allow the printer to basically make wiser choices when it comes to its acceleration and slowing down, which in turn allows you to print the exact same G-code quicker. You can get up to about 30% speed increase just by switching over from an 8-bit board to a 32-bit board. One other thing which is cool is also its micro-stepping. A lot of 8-bit boards are able to micro-step, but typically it's either at a 1 8 or 1 16 subdivision. With a 32-bit board, and specifically the drivers, the TMC2100s that are included with this bundle, you can get up to 1 256 subdivision, which means that the smoother rotations and in turn quieter printing, significantly quieter printing, um, it's pretty big. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be installing this board into my AlphaWise U20 that I got in from GearBest and sharing both my experience in setup along with its overall performance. I'm super excited to dive into this and see how it all goes with you guys. The board does come with a closed source firmware that I'm not familiar with, but to me, as long as I can configure it and it has the features that I want, I'm fine with this. Everything came packaged really well from Banggood with the exception of the LCD screen that you guys can see in the video which came pretty banged up and damaged, it was actually broken. Banggood has assured me that they will be sending me a replacement so as soon as I get that in I will update that uh, when it is received. If you guys do want to find out more about this specific board I will link you guys in the description down below to the uh, the board, exactly the one that I use because there's different variations as well as the hotbed add-on with the MOSFET and stuff like that. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I, again, am really excited to just dive in. A little bit nervous. I was looking at some of the firmware and how to configure it, and it's definitely going to take some trial and error, especially since this board does not have a crazy amount of documentation or community behind it. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm still very excited to see uh, and transition my... Uh, Alpha YG20 to using this new main board. And on that note, I'll end the video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Don't forget to smash the like button. Let's see if we can get like 50 likes on this video. That would be awesome. And I am out on that note. Peace, guys.